Depuis plusieurs années, le township d'Alexandra, Johannesburg, fait face à une menace majeure, l'invasion des rats. Sure, because we find that uh, like now, municipality uh, pick it up. They've decided not to pick up some rubbish. Mm -hmm. So, by leaving those rubbish around the street, so rest the lake where there are some rubbish, yeah. and the population of the rest become very quick mm -hmm. because of all these things. Les faits divers se succèdent et les morsures sont de plus en plus fréquentes, justifiant l'usage des raticides à grande échelle. Cependant, les raticides en vente libre ne sont pas sans danger pour notre environnement. Ce sont des anticoagulants, puissants, non sélectifs, pouvant entraîner la mort de nombreux espaces non ciblés. Ils entraînent également la mort des prédateurs des rats, ce qui contribue à la difficile gestion de leur prolifération. When two children died after ingesting on bad poison. So that's how bad it is. It had to take two beautiful lives for people to realize that red poison is just not a way to control rotten population, which is quite sad. When you look at townships, townships in South Africa, they have a problem of rat, of, of rat infestation. So that's just another way of which let's just focus much on biological methods than using red poison that could either kill the animal and us humans. Uh, we deal with owls uh, because we have, um, I don't know if to call it, if we should call it a great, a, a great war of such because of the mythological fears that have existed for decades. And owls are beautiful creatures, but however, they are known or they are mostly associated with um, death and bad luck. So yeah, we're just trying our best to, to, to correct that. Uh, we conduct educational programs where we get to teach kids about the importance of owls in an ecosystem. The kids have one-on-one -on -one, um, connection with, with the owl, with owlets. So they get to feed them and that's when they realize that, you know what, I've been feeding this owl for over two weeks and I am coming to school. I'm not dead, my family is doing great. So obviously in the process they get to realize that hell no. The mythological fears that I had in the past is not necessarily to exist. These kids are somehow teaching their parents at home. So it does work because that's how we evaluate whether the project is beneficial or is it, work, is it really working. Because we don't just teach the kids alone. They teach their parents at home, surprisingly, which is, which is quite amazing. This rat infestation problem in South Africa, especially in townships, will definitely come to an end. Let's just give ours a chance. That's all I can say.